Hey, it's Coach Chilin, and people always ask me what do I do about um, food and meal prep and things like that. So let me start off by saying I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a personal trainer, I'm not any of those things, I'm just a woman with PCOS, I'm a chick on the journey. Um, I've spent the past, in a year I lost 75 pounds, 80 inches, and 7 dress sizes. And um, I have to tell you, it wasn't because I was perfect my eating the entire time. I was learning. I started off like a lot of people. I tried to out-exercise a bad diet. I um, didn't want to give up my soda. I mean, all those stories that you hear about, and even in that year I had pneumonia, um, and I think I was out for about uh, six or eight weeks. So imagine, still a lot of change happened. And while the numbers are really impressive, and maybe people have done more than I have, um, it was less about the numbers for me in that period of time and more about what I was able to accomplish um, in learning about myself and how food affects me, uh, especially as a woman with PCOS and the insulin resistance and things like that. So um, it's been a struggle, and it's been a struggle because I am full of knowledge, but I didn't know how to apply it. Um, and so people always ask me, like, how do you meal prep? How do you eat? So I will tell you I've done... Um, a bunch of Beachbody programs. I've done Turbo Fire, I've done Body Beast, I've done P90X, I've done Insanity three times. That's where I started off at at 330 pounds. Uh, Focus T25 twice. I even did Ultimate Reset, which was fantastic. And that was all in a year's time. Um, to me, for women like myself, I find that uh, the Focus T25 eating plan uh, is the easiest to meal prep, is the easiest to prepare for, um, it's the program that where I start everybody. Um, it's just, if you're looking to create a new way to eat, if you're looking to learn new ways to do things, you know you have to focus on this, this is where I start everybody. And I started here for great reason, and I've actually put it to the test myself. Um, the thing that I like about it, so if, if, if you don't have Focus T25 right now and you're wondering, well, how can I get these recipes and things like that, feel free to email me and I can help you get Focus T25. Remember, I do everything that you see, I do it together with Shakeology. So I credit Shakeology 100% for what I've been able to transition in my eating because this helped me. Um, the first thing I did was remove soda uh, quite naturally. Uh, my blood sugar level stayed stabilized, so I wasn't dealing with insulin resistance issues anymore, and I was able to change the way I eat. It was like, I don't know how to explain it. Again, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, those kinds of things. It was the first in my life that I had this boost of um, normal sense of energy and that normal sense of balance, which made eating healthy otherwise pretty simple. Um, it really made a lot of change for me. So I, for me, and I've done both. I've tried without Shakeology and, and with Shakeology, so I've got a really good data set. All of this wasn't possible for me on my journey without Shakeology. So, and I was very reluctant. People who know me know that I was very anti-Shakeology until I tried it and, and, and changes started to occur. So if you don't have the Focus T25 um, meal plan or would like to try the program, it's it's the workout and um, the meal plan, feel free to email me. Otherwise, the best thing about this is that it has 25 simple ingredients. It also has, um, each recipe is only five ingredients, five minutes to prep. So when it comes to meal prep, it's really easy. So meal prep is huge in our lives. And when we first did it, boy, we were clumsy. We actually first started to meal prep um, when we did Ultimate Reset, which is also by Beachbody, which is basically a detox program. So um, I don't count calories. I don't pay attention to calorie counts. I've learned to listen to my body. Uh, that is incredibly key. So I'm not here to teach you how to diet. As a matter of fact, you never hear me say the word diet. I'm a former anorexic. I've had major food issues. So I'm not here to teach you how to diet or even share it. I'm here to show you what I do because I get asked all the time. So I might as well make a video, right? So. Uh, in this meal plan, it talks about you know a 1,200 calorie day or 1,600 calorie day uh, program. For me, I eat more um, for the amount that I'm burning, so I'm in that 1,600 calorie range. Again, I'm not counting because I'm eating so clean, but I've learned how to control my portion sizes to understand what a serving of chicken looks like, to understand what a serving of um, vegetables and things like that look like, and also to know when I'm struggling that often it means I need more carbs. So. I don't, I don't use wheat, I don't use grains, um, they're all things that affect me and my PCOS, 
Um, I don't use sugar. Every once in a while, if it's a natural sugar, like an unprocessed sugar, if it's in something and I want to treat, I'm fine, but I don't even crave that anymore. I do not use agave. Um, maybe I'll use honey, uh, raw honey. So that's about the extent of it. And understand, I was a hardcore sweets eater, especially if you're a woman with PCOS, you know what I'm talking about. A piece of fruit isn't going to do it for you. Oh, just have a piece of fruit if you're having a food craving. That is not possible for us, so don't think you're alone in thinking that. It really is on a cellular level. Again, I'm not a scientist, but I'm telling you as a woman with PCOS, it's not going to be a piece of fruit that's going to do it for you. But that's where this really played a big role for me. So um, one of the things that I really like about this book is it talks about uh, if you're you know, trying to lose a lot of body fat or trying to shed a few pounds, like what letter recipe to look for. Or if you're having troubles with temptation, basically look for recipes that have the P on it. And that just means you're getting more protein if you're hungry or before bed. You know, have a, uh, again, have a P uh, meal. Or if you need to supercharge your workout, have a C meal. The thing that the meal plan doesn't include is um, your Shakeology. So I have mine with almond milk. So it's roughly um, 200 calories. So that, again, it's a serving. So I eat six times a day. This is talking about one, two, three, four, five times a day. If I add in my Shakeology, I'm at 1,800 calories. Um, Again, serving size as long as I'm good. If I struggle, I know that I need more carbs in, in my diet. Uh, so as far as meal prep, I kept it really simple. So I um, now, and I've tried a lot of different things, I now exclusively shop at Costco and at Trader Joe's. So Costco, even from a discount grocer that I was going to, I'm still saving 50% in bulk. So everything you see on this table is examples of Costco except for a couple of things are from uh, Trader Joe's, including this 21 day seasoning, which I use a lot, and um, Himalayan pink salt, which has like 70 minerals or something crazy. I don't know, look it up. You can see the benefits on it. Um, this, is, this is what we use for salt, and my husband is a hardcore salt head. This is what we replaced it with. So everything that you see is basically um, Costco. And so I buy more up front, and I actually created, um, we've gone through a lot of it now, but if you look behind me, you can kind of see it's easy for us to get organized. So when I first started food prepping, we weren't organized. What we did is we went grocery shopping, came home, started chopping it all up. Um, and we were really clumsy about it. It was a little, it seemed a little time consuming, things like that. Now it's not. So as far as um, this meal plan, the first thing I recommend you do is go through and read the first couple of pages. If you really want to go through the four step calorie quiz, great. Um, I don't. I basically know that I need more calories, I need more food. Um, I do eat frequently and I never wait until I'm hungry and if I don't eat enough and if I don't eat frequently enough, guess what happens? I swell up, my body holds on to it, um, I start having some symptoms starting to creep back. So it's really, really, really important to me that I always have food at the ready. So if you feel like that you have to eat less to get the res those results. It's not about eating less. I'm sorry guys, again, I'm not a doctor or nutritionist, but I'm gonna tell you, just eat less is not the issue. It's the quality of the food and not the quantity. And that's why I stay away from calories. But I would read the first few pages and um, take a look at the 25 Keep It Real Foods. And that really shows you, I'd even take a picture of it and take it with you on your phone. So if you're running out to the store, you know it's these 25 ingredients that you need. Another thing I like about Costco is I do have a lot of organic options there, which is great. So let me start on meal prep. So as far as breakfast, there's not a lot of meal prep involved. It's pretty simple. Um, we just started getting these, and again, this is from Costco. There are pure egg whites, and for each tablespoon, I'm sorry, for three tablespoons is approximately one large whole egg is the... Um, is the translation, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Um, this has been helpful. I'm not super crazy about it, but um, I use them. So I will use this and just kind of follow along in here. This makes life easy. So as far as food prepping for breakfast in the morning, I do not. Um, the one thing that I do do is it talks about in here on page 22, almond butter and blueberry oatmeal. I do not eat oats. Um, Again, it's something that my body reacts to and it's a, uh, it inflames me. So what I do instead is I substitute it out for quinoa. If you've never had it, I highly recommend it. It's great for um, breakfast even. So you can definitely um, substitute out the quinoa for this. I don't know what it breaks down for total carbs, et cetera, et cetera. I don't worry about all that. Um, it's my, uh, my replacement for it and I do really great with it and I recommend it. See how you do. 
Moving into lunch, I love doing things like, and, and I'll tell you in the back, it talks about things you can meal prep in advance. But they have, like, for example, on page 30, the chicken Waldorf salad. I cut the chicken, I cook the chicken in advance. I literally cook a bunch of chicken breasts in advance. Um, again, I get that at Costco. I get the frozen chicken breasts there. Um, I cook a bunch of them in advance. Or I'll get, you know, the unfrozen if I'm going to cook it right away, you know, the next day or two. And this asks for you to cube it up. Cook it up. Let it cool. Cube it up. Um, keep some of the side that are whole. Um, this is great, too, because it has the Granny Smith apples in it. Again, I get those at Costco. And if you see them behind me. Uh, red grapes all at Costco, walnuts at Costco, and then I make the dressing on the side and the dressings in the back of the recipe. So I would meal prep everything um, and then put the dressing on the side. Maybe the apples you would wait until um, right before you eat it, but you'd have everything else ready. So the only thing you'd have to chop right before you have the salad would be the apple, and that's it. And I would make both dressings um, that you'll find in the back in advance. I just double up the recipe. So that's something you easily meal prep. The other one that I love to meal prep in advance is the sweet potato and quinoa salad that you'll see on page 34. That one's great because I make my quinoa, I make it in a rice steamer. And so basically it's for every um, cup of quinoa, it's two cups of water. It refrigerates really, really well. It's super easy to use. I can use it for breakfast and I can make this in advance. And as far as my sweet potatoes, I actually just, again, I get them in bulk at Costco and I roast up a bunch and I leave them on the side for advance because sometimes I'll have them for breakfast. Um, if I need some extra carbs that I'm not getting it, and I get kind of, uh, Tony Horton calls it the zoinks, I know I can feel that I need more carbs. I roast them up, and then I let them cool off, and then I can chop them into cubes, and I can put them in this, um, this sweet potato and quinoa salad. Um, and it calls for raw cashews, and you definitely want them raw cashews. I can only find those at Trader Joe's. I was not able to find those at Costco. And so this, this, this right here is one serving. So all I do is, if I need four servings or six servings, let's say your family's eating with it, I'll pick a few recipes for that week and I'll make those recipes in bulk. And then what I'll do is, um, it does tell you when you meal prep this to keep the dressing until, um, to serve it, to put the dressing in right before you serve it. The first time we did it, we didn't do that. We put the dressing in right away and it was really good. So I think that's just a preference. But that's an easy, quick one to meal prep, and you can make several ahead of time. Um, the salmon, avocado, tomato, um, again, anything avocado, I cook, I mean, I cut right uh, beforehand. And uh, that's it for lunch. As far as the quinoa patties over spinach, I have meal prepped the quinoa patties. The only thing I don't do any longer is something I read. Um, I do use, even in my... Um, in my Shakeology shakes, I use a lot of ground flaxseed, and this is Bob's Red Mill. Um, this is what I understand, that whole flax seeds, because of the outer coating, you don't reap the benefits of it when you ingest it. And in order for you to, to reap the benefits, you have to have it ground. So the best thing to do is to take um, whole flax seeds and grind them yourself. That's maximum benefit. I don't have a grinder yet. I will. So for now, I get it already pre-ground, and so that's what I use. So I do not use whole flax seeds any longer, so I would change that. And you can definitely meal prep this in advance and have it ready for the week. So that would be another meal that I would meal prep. Um, I have done the tomato basil with garbanzo. I meal prep that in advance. Um, and it came out spectacular. Um, we're actually going to get a food saver system from Costco that will allow us to meal prep and put stuff into the freezer um, so it doesn't get freezer brown and things like that. Since we don't microwave anymore, since August, we can actually put that into boiling water and warm it up and have our meal ready to go. So this actually, this salmon that on page uh, 44 does meal prep really, really well, but I would only have it for the first couple of days as an example. Same thing with the tilapia on the next page. Um, and then the rice with lentils and roasted bell peppers. So all I do is I just take the, the, the bell pepper and I put it on um, an open flame on top of my stove. I have gas stove. And I just let it blacken all the way around. I let it cool um, without it being wet. I take off the, 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 the black part of the, um, the roasted bell pepper. I'll do several of them. And I'll cube it up for this. And instead of rice, I use quinoa. Um, and then as far as lentils, you can meal prep the lentils in advance. Um, 
These are actually from Fresh and Easy. I'm sure you can get them at Trader Joe's and probably Costco. I haven't looked for them yet. You can, you can uh, meal prep the lentils in advance and again the quinoa in advance. So you can actually build this salad um, very quickly and easily and store that easily. Uh, and then let me go in. I've done the salsa boats on page uh, 52. That was really, really easy to meal prep. So as far as our meal prep, I do a couple of other things too. This is, um, I've learned from some of the other things um, we've done. I always have like a tomato and avocado. I'm sorry. It's, it'll be tomato, avocado, and cucumber salad. I chop that all up in advance. Um, I'll add the cucumber, I'm sorry, the avocado at the end or right before I serve it, I should say. I don't leave it in there. And all I use is a little bit of um, oil, vinegar, and again, the 21 seasonings. And if I need a little salt, I'll use the Himalayan pink salt. Um, you can also add red onion to it. That's another great meal prep meal. As far as um, veggies to add to it, I eat as many veggies as I want. I um, I eat, well, I should say I eat as, as much leafy grains as I want, and I'm really trying to love kale. And I will tell you that since I've been eating clean, my taste buds have certainly changed, and I know Shakeology plays a huge role in that for me. Uh, but I cannot become a lover of kale. I'm trying and trying and trying. Costco has this great shredded um, salad that has kale in it. I've been able to do that, and I do my own dressing. Um, but I need to get over it. So... Um, one of the things that I always do get, this is from Costco as well, is the organic springs mix. So I always have salad at the ready. I don't use romaine lettuce anymore. I was one of those snobs that had to be romaine lettuce, but it served no purpose for me. And the other thing is, this is great because I can cook it if I want, um, is the baby spinach, again, from Costco. And I'll add that to my dishes. So I'm always, sometimes I'll eat it raw, um, sometimes I'll eat it cooked. I've also been using these, I don't know what they're called, baby mix squash. Um, and then you can just saute these, or another thing that I do is I put, a I, again, I use the same thing I use for the sweet potatoes, and I slice up a bunch of um, onions, Brussels sprouts, beets, I'm a beets lover, um, sweet potato, those kinds of things. I slice them up into roughly the same size so it cooks evenly. I put it on a cookie sheet. Um, before I put it on there, I put in some olive oil, a little salt, a little pepper, the Himalayan salt um, and pepper. And I just let those things roast. That meal preps wonderfully. Um, I showed, if you go to my Facebook page, I will post a, um, I posted a recipe that was uh, stewed tomatoes with French green beans. Um, that was a really great recipe as well too. That meal preps well. Um, I also get the, um, their little mini, bell, like little mini sweet peppers from Costco. I will cook up a bunch of onions and cook those up really slowly in coconut oil. That's I use coconut oil and olive oil. Coconut oil to cook in, olive oil for like dressings. And I'll cook up my onions um, slowly. And then what I'll do is I'll slice up all the, the bell peppers. I'll do the whole bag. And then I'll cook that up and put it on the side. I've shown freeze as well. Um, what freeze is better than other things? I don't know until I try it. So if you're just eating just for yourself, you can make... I would meal prep, I would do like three servings. And so you have at least three for the week or four or five for the week um, on anything. And if you're meal prepping for your family, my mother-in-law said it best, you know, your kids are gonna probably eat a little differently than you. Like their needs are a little different. A little different. So we cook until a certain point for ourselves and then we can add more things for the kids. Like the kids can eat pasta, we can't. So um, this is what we do. I apologize for the rambling, the long video. I literally did this in one take. Um, hopefully you find that helpful. If you're looking for more help on meal prep or would like to work with me as far as um, your journey, um, I specialize in women who are plus size, PCOS, insulin resistance, um, basically uh, the women that we've heard, all the things, just lose some weight and you'll feel better. It's bigger than that. Um, it's a lot of mindset. So that's what I specialize in. That's closest to my heart um, and about loving yourself on the journey while you're on it.